Hi guys, I'm Tafera Nava. And I'm Sanceri Dominique. And welcome, welcome to, to our, our channel. channel. Okay, so today we're doing something a little different. We are having our first mukbang. Muk I, I think it's pronounced mukbang. <laughs> anyway, mukbang. we're having our first here on our YouTube channel, Unveiled and Crown. And we are having some seafood. <laughs> and um, we are trying king crab king crab atl atl i'll link them in the description box right so um our subject today is about marketing and branding or your brand should i say mm -hmm. so we're each going to tell three things that we have discovered or that we feel like we know is important when it comes to your brand or in marketing. So I guess I'll go first. Mm -hmm. First, before we get started, I wanna apologize if you guys may or may not hear any noise going in the background. We have somebody lining the yard. So mowing, mowing <laughs> the yard, excuse us. All right, so the first thing I would like to say is for your brand or marketing, you would definitely need, this kind of goes in a hashtag, I would say is a good photo shoot that includes like a full body and headshot along with your bio of your brand. And if your brand is yourself, then you need a bio about you, who you are, your purpose, your mission, and all of that good stuff in it. Or if it's a product or a service, you still need a bio or about mission, your purpose, your overall goal for that product or for that service. So <clears throat> you have to invest to a good photographer, maybe a stylist, um, maybe a hairstylist, um, and you want someone that is really good with editing and all of that good stuff for your bio, your mission statement, your service statement, your goals, all of that that is included when it comes to your branding and your marketing because you may need to submit that information to someone if you're going to be a part of an event or um, just on your website. If you're going to have a website or a poster or anything like that, it's good to have some good photos of yourself, a good basic headshot, and maybe a full body or three-fourths, which is down to about your waist length, to have and to submit to people, um, organizations, for TV services, if you're doing a guest spot somewhere. A good bio and a good headshot or some photos would be perfect for your brand and or for marketing. So, that's my first tip. Okay. That's good. That is important. Um, I would say my first tip is don't feel like you have to wait until you reach a certain level, such as a certain amount of followers, if you have a social media account, um, to create content um, or a platform, such as your website, such as... Um, a Instagram page or even a YouTube channel um, a lot of the times I feel like people think they have to wait until they're somebody or they're well known before they create these type of platforms mm -hmm. I had that same mindset <laughs> me too she my sister helped me to kind of think further think future tense um, kind of put it out there um just set things in motion based on her experience so i would say definitely don't procrastinate don't feel like you have to well i just started with don't nobody know da, 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 da. just do it you know trust and have faith and believe that what you have to offer will reach the masses don't worry about how long it'll take um don't worry about how glamorous it looks or if it meets the um, the standard or the expectation of majority. You can always revamp, rebrand, up, up, um, okay. upgrade <clears throat> later down the line. But just set it up. You know, put it in motion. Give people something yeah. to see. 
some way of being able to contact you, some way of being able to know what you have to offer, um, what it is that you do, what they can expect, uh, what type of results you bring, things of that nature. We're in a world where technology is everything. Everything nowadays is done through technology. I mean, we're sending each other money through technology. We are booking appointments through technology. We find and we're purchasing cars and homes through technology. So if you have a business and you want somebody to know you have a business, you need to be where people can find you. So that would be my first uh, tip in terms of um, what branding or business. That was a really good tip. Definitely get started. Thank you. And just to add to that, basically, if you look throughout history, if you think about the West here in America, <clears throat> they laid down and built railroads, the tracks, long before the train came through these areas. Wherever they had railroads and the tracks built, Sometimes it was years before the train actually went through the area, let alone if a town was built around those railroad tracks. But they did that with a vision, thinking further ahead and not just now. Not right. just limiting themselves to their current situations, their current bank account, their current lifestyle their current relationships, they had vision where they thought further ahead. They thought to their goal. They thought to their end game. So when she says go ahead and establish, there's nothing with going ahead and having your act established. So at whatever your brand is going to be, there's no harm in going ahead and taking that up. Your website, there's no harm in going ahead and buying your website domain name. Mm -hmm. There's no harm in doing those things with the vision and the idea and the plan to have this happen for you even if it's yourself branding yourself do your at to fairnava.com at your sincerodominique.com at sincerodominique for all your social media so very good very good advice go ahead make it okay so my second tip for when it comes to like your brand or um marketing would be to try to develop a media or press kit. I think there might be a new term for it now, but 10 years ago or so, that's what it was called, a media kit, press kit. And basically what that entails is now they're more digital, but every now and then you might <clears throat> have someone, if you're at like an event or at some type of show where they may want hard copies, but typically um, now, as she said, because technology is everything, everything is more digital, it is a digital format. It can be done as a PNG or a PDF file. And basically, your media kit or your press kit will include your first tip that I said, which is your, you know, some photos, your bio, your mission statement, your goals or whatever. And then it might include samples of your work. <clears throat> And that could be the work that you actually have done, or it could be the product, <clears throat> or it could just say the services that you have done. So basically, if you have photos of you giving services, so if you're like a massage therapist, you will have photos of you giving massages. You might even have videos attached to this digital media kit or press kit. Um, if you do hair, like my sister does hair, you'll have photos, videos of you doing hair, being a part of certain events when it's hair related. If you have a product, of course you would have photography of the products maybe being used, videos of that nature being used with your product. Or if it's you, if you are a life coach or if you're like me, you may be a, a creative producer, art producer, and <clears throat> if you have any BTS, which is behind the scenes video footage or photos of you doing whatever your brand, your service, <clears throat> your product is, you will then add that to your media or press kit. And then you will have like contact information, 
which will include maybe a phone number, email address, and then all of your social act um, information as well. And then you will also include packages or pricing information in your media kit. So if someone wants to purchase your service or know how much you charge or whatever the case may be, they have an idea of where it starts. And you can do a range. You don't have to do something specific because sometimes you may need to consult. But you can possibly put a range or you can just put contact for pricing information on it. But this package, which would be, like I say, a PDF or a paying information, is in like a folder zip format. And you would just basically submit that to any event, <clears throat> any TV series, any brand that you want to work with, or if they've contacted you and they want this information more in detail, you have something already composited together digitally to email them, to submit to them, and they can look at like a video reels, they can look at you talking like how we're doing now, you can include something like this, or photos of your brand or services. So take the time and invest in a press kit or a media kit for your brand or for your product or for yourself. So my next um, tip would be to um, study your field or your lane. Um, you want to always be aware of what's new that you can offer. Um, you want to always just try to stay on trend, but not trendy to to the point where every time the trend changes, you have you're, it's like you're running a race. You want to operate as if you're running a marathon because um, you, you want to stay in it. You don't want a spiked um, increase in your business and then a hard drop. You know, you want a slow burn. So mm -hmm. I would say definitely just stay educated about the field that you're in. Um, find ways that you can offer innovative uh, services or products, whatever your, excuse me, whatever your field is. I think that's very important. Sometimes I feel like people reach a certain level and then they they don't continue to educate themselves. They don't continue to explore other options or opportunities that can increase or improve their brand or their business. I don't feel like you should ever get comfortable. Um, I'm nowhere near where I want to be. And to be completely honest, some of that is there's moments where I kind of procrastinated. Um, I didn't do the work of educating, exploring, and just bringing more to the table that I can offer. Um, but I also don't feel I need to jump on every little thing that's out there. I definitely feel like you need to also know your mind. You know, you don't want to be so widespread that you're like a scatterbrain. In your business or in your brain sometimes I feel like there's a such thing as offering too much to where you're not efficiently and effectively running your brand or your business so I would just say just educate yourself about your field in its entirety see what will work for you what you feel like you can maintain um, in an efficient and an effective way and build on that build definitely build on that um don't don't become comfortable don't let um uncomfortableness drive you away that's just a fear that we shall not operate in um i definitely am guilty of operating in fear so i firsthand have seen the consequences of running away from something that's uncomfortable. And the more that I dive into things that are uncomfortable, I gain comfortability in knowing that, okay, 
whatever I psyched myself up to think was going to happen or wasn't going to work out is just fine. Worked out beyond my imagination because I took the time to research. I took the time to study. I took the I took my time. I didn't just dive off in it. You know, the first thing that I came across or some new thing that I came across that I felt like I can offer. Oh, let me hurry up and just throw this up on my website or on my uh, menu of services or, you know, whatever, whatever. It may be something that took two years for me to get to a place of being able to offer it because I took my time and I studied, I, I dissect, I, um, I weighed the options. I saw, I looked into whether or not it was going to be beneficial financially, if it was going to be beneficial in terms of, um, time, if it was worth my time or not. So once again, just definitely study your field, see what's new that you can offer. Uh, if it's something that you should offer, um, and just making sure that you are in a position where your client base, your customer service base will benefit from it. You don't want to invest into something that is not going to make you any money or it's not going to bring you any additional, um, success or opportunities because it doesn't cater to your pool of customers or clients. But on the flip side of that, it could open up the door for you to receive a, a, a whole nother pool, which is always good because that generates another stream in the direction that you didn't anticipate. So in a nutshell, just study your field through and through. Can you like give some examples of ways that they can study their fields? Like, is it books? Is it online classes? Like, um, what would be some suggestions? So for me, I, once again, technology. <laughs> I utilize Google. I definitely utilize social media such as Instagram. See who's offering classes that pertains to something that you're interested in, um, that you can add to your repertoire. Um, definitely utilize books. Uh, the library still exists, <laughs> even though I know so much is online and on apps, but sometimes it's good to have those hard covers, those paperbacks, so you can refer back to, highlight, copy, cut out, and pin, excuse me, pin on your wall or on your message board. Um, if you can consult or uh, create conversations with people that's in your field and kind of pick their brains. Unfortunately, we're in times where people are crabs in a barrel and we don't want to share information. So it's going to be kind of hard sometimes to get it that way, but it's possible. There are some people who are willing to tell you what they had to do what they had to learn, how they had to fall and bump their head, mistakes they made, they made to get them to where they are. And they still may feel like they're not where they want to be. But you may look at them and be like, man, you know, I would like to be at that level of success. I'm trying to use my quotation marks with my crap. But <laughs> so um, just don't be afraid to communicate with people, network. Go to social networking events, not just to socialize, but to network and connect with people that you can you can build with, that you can learn something from. You know, you want to make every moment that you are around or amongst people be beneficial um, to your life. And it doesn't always have to be business um oriented it can be in a personal manner as well but nonetheless when it does come to the personal uh aspect of i mean the business aspect of things you want to definitely surround yourself or get to know people who you can you can learn some things from like the old saying goes you don't want to be in the room and you're the smartest person in the room you know so i would say those are the main three ways that you can uh gain more knowledge um have more insight um receive more um 
ways and opportunities to uh, increase your knowledge in your field. So that's, once again, um, utilizing the internet, be it Google or social media, um, reading books or it doesn't have to be a book pertaining to your field. It could just be a book about business. It could be a book about marketing. It could be a book about social media. When's the best time to post and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, and then, like I said, networking. Networking events and just create a circle. A circle is five people, you know. So create a circle. It doesn't have to be this massive I, I feel like people are caught up in knowing everybody. You don't have to know everybody. It's a lot of people that know everybody and don't know nothing and don't have nothing. All right. You know, so you just need to be very intentional. Be very intentional about what you do and how you do it. That's good. Okay, so my third and my final tip. And trust us, there's a lot more tips we can give you guys, but we just decided to start with three. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll do a part two. My third and final tip for when it comes to your brand or marketing is reinvest in yourself. Reinvest in yourself, reinvest in your brand, reinvest in your products. And what does that mean? Some people may not know what that really entails. And it could be a variety of things, but one of the main things is with everything that you make, you definitely need to put aside some savings from yourself and that's still reinvesting in yourself because usually any business or company or brand even if it's yourself you typically don't make a good profit or see real quote-unquote stable success until after about three years or so so by saving you're reinvesting in yourself you're creating a bit of a nest nest egg if you come into any issues along your way of building your brand or your product or service so that helps you in that sense if you need to go into that savings for a time period for whatever reason it could be if you're doing a monthly subscription for like your website and you're not getting any income you can go to that reserve that savings and pay that monthly thing so definitely save that's still investing reinvesting into yourself you definitely want to as she stated before upgrading when she mentioned upgrading getting yourself started this is where reinvestment comes into so let's say her first tip was getting you, yourself started well you've already started you're a year in two years in you're making traction you've built a good little group of followers supporters clients or what have you and now you're ready to rebrand your logo get you some new headshots you're ready to um, build an actual website now because all you had maybe was just an instagram and a facebook page and twitter so now you're ready to actually have a website built now that reinvestment that money that you put aside and saved you can take that money and upgrade yourself you can upgrade your logo to a better resolution maybe make it 3d maybe have it animated however you want it now that photographer you are always wanted to work with that makeup artist you always wanted to work with the hairstylist you may have always wanted to work with maybe now you can afford it and you've put aside money for that to <clears throat> upgrade your look upgrade your brand and all of those things it might be equipment if you are doing what we're doing or you work in entertainment gaming whatever it is and you need equipment and equipment could be literally your phone if you use your cell phone for your work mm -hmm. it could literally be your car if you need your car for work you need to upgrade or you need to continue to invest in it so that it can help you make your money it can help you build your brand so you might need to get that oil changes more consistently you might need to get new tires you might need to get it detailed you might need to get a new phone you might need to get a new camera you might want to add another option or um, a shop to your website now because you're selling merchandise so that may be an extra expense to your um, website subscription and now you can afford that thing um, it may just be you physically you might want to get a life coach now because now you need someone to help you in this new area or you need an assistant 
you've become so busy now you need an assistant and because you put money aside you've re to reinvest in yourself now you can afford to pay for that assistant or you can afford to pay for that um, editor to edit your videos so reinvesting is important it can bring people to your team that you are originally a one woman show or just you and your sister you and your mom you and your boo you and your friend now you can have maybe two more people on the team that comes from reinvesting into yourself like i say you upgrading your equipment your home your car if you use that for your service or your brand you just want to make sure you have money set aside to reinvest yourself and take your brand your business, your service to a new level. If you want to repackage your packaging, because now after it's been out for a couple of years, you've heard some constructive criticism from your clients, and now you've decided to handle those things and address those issues. And it's going to take money to do those things. So reinvesting, saving money aside to continue to build your brand, to continue to build your services to improve it so you can take it to new heights and develop it so that it can really work for you and the people around you is so so important don't be cheap with yourself this is your livelihood this is your baby so don't cheat yourself because it will reflect back on you and later on nine times out of ten you're going to wish dang i wish i went on and got that maybe sixty dollar instead of thirty dollars you know, and sometimes when you do little fixes, it adds up to the fix, big fix. So if you buy a little stuff here, just kind of nitpicking here and there, and then you go back and you add it up, it's like, wow, I should have went on and dropped 150 when I had the chance. We know sometimes there are stages where you have to do that. And believe me, we've done that. And every now and then, we still have to do that, just keeping it real. But we've also learned that sometimes it's worth just paying that money up front, doing it right, doing it the best way the first time, and that way it doesn't bite us or kick us in the butt later on. So invest, invest, reinvest in yourself. Like she said, it's even if you have to pay for online classes to learn more about your field, if something new has developed technology-wise in your services now, that's something new that you want to offer, reinvesting in yourself is paying for that learning about that new service, learning about that new product, learning about that new skill that you may need on set, being around somebody. They have master classes online on YouTube that you can take. All of this is reinvesting into yourself and companies do it all the time. You have fast food restaurants that had the look of their buildings from the 80s look completely different now. They have reinvested into their company. They decided to upgrade their company, their technology, the insulation, the walls, the colors, the air conditioning, all of that stuff to make it easier and accessible to their customers. So reinvestment is very important when it comes to your brand, your services, and your product. And you have to put money aside for that reinvestment and understand it's best to just do it right the first time if you can and don't cheat yourself because you ain't really hurting your clients you're hurting you mm -hmm. okay so just remember that yeah i i have to 100 percent agree with that um even for me as a hairstylist like i definitely had to learn the importance of buying quality products mm -hmm. um because you're putting these things on someone's hair, which essentially is going into their system, their bloodstream. Um, not that I've ever used anything harmful or hurtful, but you see a difference in the results when you use something that's more quality versus trying to get quantity for a certain price. A lot of people go after, oh, but if I go to this store, I can get this amount for this size or get this size for this price versus if I go here, I get less and it costs more, but it's the quality of the product. So it may be a situation where, yeah, it may cost more and you're not getting as much, but the concentration of the product may supersede you getting this cheaper product that gives you a lot but you almost happen to use one tenth of the product on every client you're gonna run through it you know so definitely invest in the things that are going to give you longevity um and that that's quality you know that's how you see your money you don't want to nickel and dime yourself if and and like she said 
it's okay to say you don't have to out the gate be able to purchase these things right. <clears throat> work your way up you know but also buy the best value mm -hmm. until you can get what you really 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 need and desire Okay, <laughs> so we are down to my last um, tip for this particular uh, video. Like she said, we may do a part two because there is more. Um, but we just wanted to try to come with some nuggets. Um, I would say my third tip would be... What? Oh, I thought you... <laughs> I would say my third tip would be to... Um, Trust God. You got to trust God. Um, like I said, you don't want to operate in fear. Um, fear will hinder you big time. Fear will have you in a place far longer than you should be. Um, once again, speaking on facts, because I've experienced this. <laughs> not just in my career just in so many different areas of my life um where i wanted to acquire something or embark on something and out of fear of failing i just didn't complete it or didn't initiate it and when you do that you'll never know you'll never know what you can accomplish you'll never know what will come out of whatever ideal you have, whatever goal that you um, have set, if you don't take that leap of faith. Um, yes, it's scary, because it's foreign territory. It's something you haven't done before. It's, it's an experience that you, nine times out of 10, haven't experienced. But I feel like as long as your intentions are pure, in terms of you're not doing it for money you're not doing it only for success it's your passion um it's a desire to service people to provide people with something that is that you're passionate about um to truly accommodate individuals you know based off of how you felt like your expectations weren't met dealing with another business or brand things of that nature only good can come out of it but you have to do the work like you have to do the work you have to you got to jump off the porch you got to jump off the porch nothing is going to happen if you just sitting in the house dwelling on it doing the shoulda coulda woulda song so you got to trust god and you got you got to just take that leap um, and like I said, don't focus on the success of it. Don't focus on, oh, what will people think? Things of that nature. You're going to have people who think it's awesome. You're going to have people who are going to support you. You're going to have fans and the fans are the ones that's really watching and waiting on you to fail. Your supporters are the ones who want to see you reach heights that you never even imagined that you would reach. You're going to have all of that. You're going to have something in between that just don't even make sense. Like, okay, are you a supporter or are you a fan? Like, I'm very confused. Like, you're going to have all of that. That's the human race. You know, that's just a part of it. Don't worry about all of that. You got to put your blinders on and just keep going forward keep going forward keep going forward like i said it's a marathon it's not a race you don't have to be the first one to do it you don't have to be the last one to do it your energy your aura your like i said um your purpose and your passion behind it will set a tone that will be the driving force you know what i mean like you will attract i feel like you attract what you let out if you give out energy that is you just on being known you just you're on trying to be on this pedestal you're on 
fame. That's what you're going to get. And that's a quick burnout. Like that, I don't see longevity in that. Do your research. Research how many people have stayed around or had a long lasting career and they, it, it seemed like their intentions were pure. It seemed like it was passion versus fame. You know, it seemed like it was desire, uh, undying desire versus get rich quick. You know what I mean? So that would be my definite uh, last tip for this particular video is just trust God, have faith. Um, you got to you gotta take that leap. Otherwise, you'll never know. You'll just never know. And, you know, if you have kids, you know, you want to be able to say, look, there was a point in time where I was here. I was fearful of this, but I did this and look what happened. And that, that will encourage them in moments that they may feel like that, no matter how big or small it may be. Even if you don't have kids, you may have nieces and nephews or just someone that's in your circle or in your family that looks up to you. And you may feel like you're nobody to look up to, but once again, you get what you receive. I mean, you receive what you give. So your energy and your aura may come out to them as someone that they want to get under your wing. You know, they want to watch you. Like, they, they sense that you have this ability to be great. So allow yourself to be, you know, allow yourself to be great. So that would be my final tip for this particular segment all right you guys so i really hope that um this video has helped a lot of you um receive some insight about uh a business or brand that you are starting or that you're thinking about starting um like i said this was just kind of like our i guess our top three um that we wanted to share with you all um I think we'll definitely do a part two to this because like I said, there's so much more that we could definitely share. And once again, this is from our experience. This is from where we started to where we are now. And we're once again, not where we feel like the end of the road or the boat stops for us. Mm -hmm. Not that it will ever stop, but, um, this is just our journey thus far. So it's not Holy Grail, it's not Bible, but it's just our take on our experience thus far. So we hope you enjoyed it. Um, once again, we decided to do a little something different. So we did a mukbang <laughs> and our food was from King Crab ATL. Um, so I'll link them in the description box down below. This was not a sponsored video. No, not yet. Purchase this video, this <laughs> move. Oh gosh. <laughs> Purchase this food with our own uh, money, but we just decided to present it to you all um, in a different way today. So we figured why not eat? Everybody loves to eat. With that being said, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Share it, share it, share it with your friends, share it with your family, share it with your, your uh, colleagues and coworkers, whomever. And be sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button so that every time we upload a new video, you can be informed. Okay? Okay. All right. So until next time, peace. Peace.